Hi everyone. Um, right, new video. Um, this is kind of an update. Um, one of the first videos I ever did when I came here was um, about my canoe camping kit, which was kind of a wanagon. Um, and if you don't know what that is, it's a food box, um, basically a crate to carry your food and your kitchen equipment in. Now, I've been using a wooden box, this one. Um, for a little while, um, used it in the UK. When I came here, I carried on using it. What I found is, when I got here, I could do kind of longer journeys, and um, it just wasn't big enough. Um, although it could hold, you know, like a two, three days worth of food, that was it maxed out. I couldn't really carry any equipment. So, obviously, came here and started doing slightly longer trips, and um, needed something better. So. I tried plastic crates and, and things like that, which, yeah, they're fine, but, nah, I wasn't happy with it. It didn't look nice, you know, I like things to be aesthetically pleasing as well as um, practical. And although the, I had a black crate, which I'm using for something else now, um, which was really waterproof, um, fitted really well in the canoe, it just, it was ugly as anything. And even that I found wasn't very practical because it didn't have any way of, you know, organising. Um, I like to be fairly organised when I'm camping. Um, I like to be able, to, I like to know where everything is, um, and not have to root around at the bottom of a bag. So I started using my stubborn pack as my kitchen, um, which works really well. Having the frame around it helps. It makes it more like a chuck box. Um, so yeah, so that was fine. Um, but, I've, I've, but I knew I had another one of these um, and I wanted to resurrect that idea. I've got a plan to make a, an actual shaped wanagon that will kind of fit the hull of the canoe um, but that's, gonna, uh, that's a project for this winter I think and um, that will take a little bit of time and uh, yeah and I wanted to make reutilize re this box um, so what I came up with um, I went on to a online store um, which sells everything. Wish, and if you're worried about it, I'll put it here somewhere. Wish, um, and it's but most of it comes from China. And to be honest, I could have probably bought these things locally for the, about the same price, but I was shopping online at the time. And basically, what it is is I um, I've added a box underneath, and. Um, Utilising these kind of catches, I've got one there, one there, and two on the back. And I'll just tilt the camera down slightly, and uh, yeah, you'll be able to see it slightly better. Okay, now I fitted this handle on the top, it's kind of rudimentary. Um, it's not for carrying it when it's fully loaded, this is purely just lugging it about when it's empty or you know, I'm arranging. Um, I stuck a few patches on that I had knocking around. Um, ironically, I haven't got a Swedish flag. My bad. <laughs> yeah, these are kind of been here, been here, been here. I should probably have a few more um, countries on here, but maybe I'll get those over time. They're Velcro badges, so I can use them, rip them off, and use them for something else. But anyway, that's a side note. So, in the top, as per the old style, um, Basically I've got a, a cutlery tray and in here, I haven't gone too heavy, I've got my life straw, very rarely need this, or I haven't needed it yet, um, but I always carry one just in case. Um, but the water here luckily is, is crystal clean so I can just drink it from any moving water source, pretty much. Uh, I've got some washing up fluid there, this is um, nature safe. Um, uh, organic whatever you want to call it but it's, it's biodegradable it's safe to the environment um, still use it sparingly and still wash on land um, not by the water source so at least it filters through the earth over time so there's that uh, in here I've got a little dishcloth thing and my tactical scrubbing brush um, got in here. I've got my Mora 
classic number three knife. Um, it's got a beast of a knife actually. I, I, I don't use it. it it's um, my kind of kitchen knife. Um, I haven't used it as yet, but it, it's good for um, yeah, well, kitchen stuff. So it sits in there. Um, some spare shoelaces. Um, it's quite strong nylon this, so it's good for other applications. Uh, African spice mix. Uh, oh God, God, this years ago. Probably well out of date, but um, it's really nice. It's what's it got in it? Nice no, alligator peppers, garlic, cubeb pepper. Never heard of that. Lemon peel and ginger. But it's a really nice mix. Really good for meat. Um, so that's that. I've got my flint and steel. And that just normally, to be honest, goes in my buoyancy aid. But I thought I'd stick it in here because I've got a fire steel anyway on my buoyancy aid. So that's that. Hand sanitizer. Um, some toothpaste. Toothbrush. Uh, an old torch just as a backup. Those various things in there. Selfie stick. Some miniature night sticks. Glow sticks. I have my extendable corv um, cooker or sausage grill. Marshmallow fork, whatever you want to call it. Got a cheap multi tool type affair with you know, hex keys, screwdrivers, some sockets. I carry that um, for the canoe, really, more than anything. If um, a thwart breaks um, or they get loose, you know, which shouldn't happen, but you never know. So I always carry a tool. My wind up JCB phone charger. Really good, actually. You know, you can pick these up from, uh, well, Wish again, but. Um, like for pennies and um, they're just really handy little backups that's that in case of emergency obviously I've got my pot lifter some deodorant don't quite know why that's in there I don't normally bother but there you go just smell <laughs> I've got my Mora filleting knife these are brilliant filleting knives really flexible um, you know, which is what you want in a filleting knife Good little knives. Um, yep, yeah, that's that. I've got my candle lantern from candlelantern.com. Um, pull up lantern with the, you know, you have a candle in there. Da -da. The glass is supposed to lift up, but it's um, got stuck for some reason. Yeah, I'll play around that another day. I like this one because in the bottom you've got a torch as well. Handy if you're either in a tent um, or a snow cave. Quincy, whatever you want to call them. A couple of candles. And then I've just got my cutlery. My fork spoon. That kind of stuff. So that's that. So that's in the top section only. Of course. Now I've taken it out, it's never going to go back in. Okay. Right, so that's that. So then anyway, that lifts out. And then you're on to the main compartment. Now, I haven't got anything in really in here, it's just some spare, some spare spice pots and things at the moment. But in here there's enough space, um, I do know, for... Um, I would have said, yeah, probably four or five days worth of food for one person. So, you know, it's, it's a pretty good size. Um, and what I have done, um, in these corners, I don't know if you, yeah, you can just see them here, these two little black blobs, that's sugru. Um, and basically, I made little wedges, glued it, I mean glue it, it sticks to itself. So you stick it in the corners and that stops my tray from dropping down too far. Um, and squashing stuff. Um, so yeah, that's that's what that's for. And yeah, so that's that. And then basically, the way I've made this um, is on the side here, like I showed you those catches. 
pop them off. One on each side, two on the back. Lift that off. And then the second box is here. Open that up, and I've got my frying pan, my coffee making equipment, my you know my percolator, my cooking pot, coffee beans, my grinder, everything that I need to cook in or cook on, I should say, is in here. It's perfect. Uh, one person wagon. I think this is this is about as good as I'm going to get it, to be honest. Um, it's organised. I know where everything is. I could fit a bit more in here. Um, I think slight rearrangement, um, but on the whole, I think this is pretty cool. So I'll just shut that down again, just to show you how easy this is. You know that goes back on there. The side catches closed. Screw, close her up. Job done. So, like I say, this handle is not really there for carrying it when it's full. Um, it's only held in very thin wood on the top, um, and it'll probably just rip out with any weight in it. What I do want to do, I'm going to maybe fit a tump line of some sort, um, or maybe some kind of you know hanging clamps here that I can put a big strap on. But I think as a Wanagon, um, it's pretty spot on. Um, if you have watched my previous video um, about the canoe camping kit, this is the one you would have seen, this top box. Luckily, we had this bottom one spare. Um, and to be honest, if you can pick them up, they're really good. We got these from Costco in the UK, um, obviously the States. They, they probably sell them and, and off licenses and, and places like that you can probably pick them up you might even be able to get them for free I don't know um, and all you do is rip out the, the lining carefully um, it's, you know, it comes with like fancy liner to make the bottles look pretty and um, yeah and then you've basically got a wooden wanagon ready made um, certainly the top one would be a one person um, for like a day and then together this is this for me is, is a good week's worth of tripping. So yeah, well pleased with that. Let me just tilt you up. Right. So there you go, guys. That is the new North Knife Wanagon. Um, you'll see this on many a trip, I hope. Um, I've got one coming up, hopefully before the end of October. I really hope it's before the end of October. Um, another canoe trip. And uh, that one hopefully will be with Rob from Rob's Bushcraft coming back up again. Um, this time it will just be the two of us and um, we'll do a lot more filming I think and, and, and kind of chatting on camera. Um, the last trip we had guests and uh, they're not YouTubers and um, yeah so it, it kind of makes it a little bit awkward. You know some people don't want to be on camera which is fine and uh, so we tended not to worry too much but this trip, or the next trip, will be a lot more video friendly, so we'll get some good good stuff. And you'll see this, this is coming. And then we've also got a, a planned, for when it's snowed, maybe February or something, a snowshoe trip, um, just up locally, not, not too mad, just snowshoe up into the, into the, the forest and do a bit of um, messing about in the woods, as it were. And uh, my plan is to use my homemade polka sled, whatever you want to call it. It's made out of a kid's sled with two poles attached to drag. And uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll probably take that in a tent. Um, I'm in the process of manufacturing. I need a guy to do some welding for me. It's not a skill I've acquired over the years. Um, but weld it together and it's going to be a small stove to fit inside my teepee tent um, with small feet, chimney, you know, the full works. So that's going to be interesting. I'm in the process of making it. I've made it or it just needs to be welded. 
and um, so yeah, that, that that hopefully will be on the trip as well. So there you go, guys and girls. The new North North Wanigan. Um, well pleased with it, and you'll see it on the next trip. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.